which means luck. Luck. Okay, cool. No, well, then uh, we'll talk about that. Mm-hmm. All right, you ready? Okay. Welcome to another episode, man. This is the Free Ride Podcast. I'm so excited. I've got an amazing guest in the studio. Oh my god! I don't know how this woman does it all. She's a mom. She's a songwriter. She's uh, a, a, an artist, a musician, and. She is a news producer. She does it all. She's here on the Free Ride podcast. Her name is Bahati Sitole. How are you doing, my sister? I'm good. I'm very well. And I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. It's in the morning, eh? Yeah. I like this. I, it's better in the morning, right? I love it in the morning. You get it all out of the way. Yes. <laughs> and we, we are more energized. Yes. My yeah. morning, for me, the mornings are the best. Yeah. I like everything, doing everything in the morning. Yeah. And I have the rest of the day to me or to maybe other people. Of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, you also, did you work last night? Yes, I was working. <laughs> <laughs> I went to bed at uh, 20 past 12. No way. Yes. Ah. I went to bed at 20 past 12. And I had to be up this morning and I have a daughter. Yeah. And I, to me, she's a baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I um, had to prepare for her, her cereal. Okay. Actually, I had to eat porridge. Oh, yeah. So I had to, yeah. And no, for sure. And getting some flu. I was like, okay, she needs to eat something warm. But mummies are always like, everybody's like, my mom still thinks I'm a baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's it like, oh, my forever, son. Forever. <laughs> it baby. doesn't end. Yeah. Please. Um, I was looking at your profile and I think it struck me, Wuti, you were born and raised a KZN. A KZN. Gumzo. Gumzo. Yeah. Okay. And also my grandparents from my mother's side are fundis. So ah. the PK. Ah, you're a church girl. Yes, you know. Yeah. Wow, man. To me, that that's uh, that's the foundation they laid. Yeah. It, it has become part of me. And it helped you, shaped you into the woman that you are today? I don't know. I always say that. I don't, <laughs> I've always been in church, so I don't know. Maybe yes. Yeah. You know, in, in a way that um, I am not really aware of it. For yeah. me, it's, it's so on. It's like eating okay. is yeah. Because it's a hand. Because yeah. it's food. Yeah. So, like, for me, church, I look at it that way. It's okay. I was raised like who gets school and you get into any yeah because there's so many things as in Zagala in into it and then they think who goes in you like Abazalba or Coco Bar but you're thinking I assess yeah but to get who could lele lab but you're not strict like in into it like growing up in Umlas actually it's a kind of like we go strict to con okay yeah so um umama no bab umama my mom, my mom is very relaxed like me. Okay. My dad, like a like, <laughs> soldier. Yeah. A campaign. That's a campaign. But I'm very grateful for that because yeah. like I I I singing Jobas and Kodil, I realized it was laying that foundation. No ma sing him darling in my forties. I always go back because conje. Yeah. Yeah, but um by default, depending the way I was raised, yes, there was a time I, I wouldn't say rebellious. But trying to find Upahadi, Ngapandli, Kwasekai. Yeah. Who is this woman? Because um, I'm a creative and I think my parents are Zangi Bakoni local at all because why we must sing? Why? Yeah. Tell them why you should sing yeah. when they're sending you to school. How can you come and say you for no Yeah. What is this thing you are you talking know, about? I go when and it's cooling about Brenda first, and my 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 father would say, "Oh, you wanna wear these skimpy clothes? Oh, for what? For what? Yes. And for who? And he weighs the money. And I'm a daughter, and Jebazo Yeah. So 
why yeah so i came, <laughs> i had to find myself and um i'm like in his opinion i'm just i'm grateful did and you I, have to bury your creativity of course Okay. I, I didn't even tell them about say ngizo tola one day. But ge any into M9 thinking about Jelang is something they told. Mau nganyom phone this. Oh, you sing, you clean the church, you what what? Yeah. So um, the tola. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you it's loved, good. you loved. It's funny though because I wanted to <laughs> sing the songs I wanted to sing, and the song to any there was a choir, a choral. And we'll do Abu Sarafina style. I think this is where I found myself. I was, oh, okay. There's yeah. something. But I was shy. Oh. Uh, very shy. And um, um, and then an introvert. A shy and then introvert. Yeah. So you will do these things in the bathroom when you are alone only. First, you, and my parents work, must not see you. Um, we are imitating Abu Brenda, Abu Yvonne Chaka Chaka, you know. Yo. You were supposed to do gospel or <laughs> choral <laughs> music. Yes, <laughs> and which I'm very good at, and oh. I love, I am very mm. good at. But I could like, hear your voice, Uguti. It, it comes from the origins of choral, like. Yes. You can hear, Uguti, there is that touch of choral, Sarafina <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I grew up with that. And at that time, really, you won't believe Sepo. I, those are the things that I really didn't like. Mm. And um, because I really, like I said, I want to do the song that I want to do. And in Konzo, you can't do that. You must... La, la, ho, la, la, na, <laughs> and that's it. You yeah. Know? So, but, yeah. Mang vega manja, I smile. Yeah. Was, oh, it started the and the you foundation. Know, it was my foundation, yeah. and and my voice was molded in the church. Yeah, the voice you hear now, it comes from there. Because I think the church just allows you to like break through in terms of voice. Yes, Mama, yes. It's like Ungati. I wouldn't say possessed, but Ungati people who sing for the Lord. They're like, oh, how they have an outer body experience? <laughs> Maybe. Yes, because that one song, oh, you will sing Uzuguti. Oh, I've like a mazo. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, there is something in church. And um, that's where also you can see or learn what we are or not. That's true. And also, you can actually. Um, find a definition of yourself, whether you are a, a leader in music or you are a baker. Oh, and then that I am yeah. good in this yeah. and I am, I, I'm going to carry through, yeah. you know, and yeah. that, I think that's what also our conductor used to tell us. Because don't think that if you're not um, uh, f- on, on, on the front, oh. you're not good. Yes. That person needs you to carry them. That's true. So, and that's, I think that's the another thing that you, a person mm. had to learn that even if I am not leading a song, my alto, my soprano is doing things in mm. the background mm. to carry the person in front. But yes, I will always lead the song. I mean, the choral, I was very good. Yeah. I think I like that more than gospel. Oh, Because yeah. okay. this is where the voice is trained. That's true. Yes. You breathe from there, you breathe from there, not from the nose. You know, and you yeah. hold the yeah. notes. I loved it for that. I, I always thought, Uguti, the like choral, choir type, it, it, it teaches you that type of breathing styles, yes. which is different to somebody who has not actually come up through the ranks of a church choir mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so on. You can hear Uguti Muntakona sings like in a shower and and not that it's anything wrong but i'm saying the it's it's not trained to understand the acoustics Mm -hmm. to understand and i sing in a church Mm -hmm. it's a domed church Mm -hmm. it's a whole engaga the sound reverberates To understand the acoustics of sound, you know? Yes. So, whereas w- when you grow up like that, you understand all those dynamics. Yes. So, Guti, Maugula in an open hall, yeah. your sound travels like this. You can hear yourself differently. Yes. 
Where does and how you control that and you how know? you control and that keep it level and right yeah sound like funny when it reaches um on the other end absolutely yeah. absolutely that's yeah. what i like about coral yeah the voice control no that's absolutely so now okay so uh where did you go to primary school um, Laz, let me try and remember. It was called <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. And uh, unlike no. the kids of today, we yeah. don't remember these things because yeah. it was not fun. Yeah. It was oh, just yeah. going to school. Yeah. So yeah, it was Tola. Tola so you primary. didn't enjoy school? Or primary? I, I I don't think I enjoyed it. Really, honestly, it was something that I had to do. Okay. I didn't even understand. Only now when my daughter says something, I'm like, oh, that, that's what they were saying. <laughs> Imagine in my 40s, I only no. like, oh, that. <laughs> it, 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 like, I, I feel like well, I was so detached. Huh. Yeah. So you went like, uh, were you an academic student or were you more of an artistic student? I think because I was artistic and okay. it was not polished or anything. That's yeah. why I feel like I didn't fit in. So mm. I had to, I remember being funda ugutin, basically ukrema. Oh, but ukrema, yes. Yeah, I did not learn yeah. for understanding. Mm. That's why I only understand now what I'm an <laughs> Oh, this is what they were saying. I just crammed and I passed and I, I, yeah. I, I, I knew nothing. So, I mean, I always like to understand that about people because I think because I was also a creative at school. So I wasn't necessarily the most, I wasn't academic at all. Mm. I just managed to pass. <laughs> and cram and pass. Eh? And because I was artist, I was more artistic and sporty. Mm -hmm. So I was good on, on running and, and soccer and, and drawing. So... And I always understand artistic and sporting people, Uguti. Mm -hmm. When they're in the class, their minds are outside the class, Uguti. And I asked my daughter this year, uh, so when you're in class, do you look outside the window? Is <laughs> <laughs> also artistic? Like, Ooh, yeah. Okay. So I'm like, do you look outside the window and imagine <laughs> things? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when the teacher is busy writing there, you, know, you don't see you anything. <laughs> Okay, and then when they call your name, you you make you up know. things. <laughs> no, I think it was the worst. To be quite honest, yeah, my yeah. school like schooling was not nice. It was not good simply because, um, in even the education needs was not mm. formed to understand our artistic creatives. It's true. At least now. Um, you know they have the art class and what what and then you can see whether your child is a designer or it's you mm. know you can mm. actually pick up some things that oh she's good at this so okay i'm mm. gonna actually uh, encourage you to go this way mm. you know mm. because mm. i can see tina <laughs> it's and I, true. in math i didn't even understand what is this i will come back with zero yes and now my daughter i tell you super she's like acing this x y plus z and i because i'm artistic <laughs> i don't get it yeah why are we doing ama x y is like for what reason yeah and i will pick any number to <laughs> and i will keep it wrong. i'm like why why are the other people getting it why mean i'm choosing nine and i just didn't understand the steps it didn't make sense about no. trigonometry geometry you know? It, it it just didn't make sense mm -hmm. for an artistic person. No, so no, school, no, not. I, I think also it's because Mklambe, like even Namanje, schools in the townships don't necessarily cater mm. for artistic children. So Mklambe, you know, because we are up here in Joburg, mm -hmm. our kids are exposed to multiracial schools. Mm -hmm. Mklambe, that's where you've got our art classes and so on. Yeah. I mean, I only got introduced to art Mang Puma in a township school. So I see a like a church cause at Dobsonville. And I had to go find a, a multiracial school. Mang mm -hmm. Corner. Then I'm like, ah, good art. Can't these young nice. kids, they, they've been exposed to drawing, to mm -hmm. painting, to 3D. Like, okay, 3D was not there, but, yeah. you know, and, and, and those who were 
into singing there was mm-hmm. at least a little bit of support you know so I said yeah. oh okay Kanti. <laughs> it's only us in my townships where we but are not necessarily funny you say that because like I said when growing up in church it looks shiny even a choral abo abo <coughs> abo Brenda Fase abo Sarafina we were allowed yeah. to do things the Sarafina but create your own uh, words in yeah. the you know it, like couple man doesn't it's on. So uh, it's a on yes yeah it's in a basis such something like ah. imagine oh. we were creative like that what ah. so you guys remixed it exactly they are, it. Yes, <laughs> they allowed us to do that and also maybe just like you i think by high school i started it um when i that in my high school, I went to uh, multiracial. Yeah. And yeah, things were happening there. God, what I noticed also with us black people then, there's this lack because we're not used to these things. I'm a piano, I'm a mic, and now you get intimidated. You're like, in because I go, why are you putting it in front of me? Yeah. Like, instead of actually building your confidence. Yeah. You find yourself on at hand because now there's this mic, there's this piano the teacher is playing, and again a person like me will mm. just cave in. We will mm. say, "Okay, I can't do this." But then in high school, that's where exactly I knew that no, I'm going to be an artist. Mm. And then I also fell in love somehow with broadcasting. Oh yeah, at high school. So broadcast your love for broadcasting came at high school. At high school, how did because it come were, about? They had newsletters. Oh. And other kids, not black people, other kids <laughs> would write some stories, good newsletter. Well, I didn't even know it was a newsletter back then. You didn't know I there was such a thing? It was like a magazine. We called it a magazine. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. every month, these white um, Indians, colored, they will write stories. Yeah. Um, they, and it come out every month. And I was like, oh, wow, I wish I could do that. I like it. Yeah, you know, when I see my name on there. Yes, but it never happened then. But I fell in love with writing then. Okay. Yes, I would write my story even though I didn't send or submit them. Yeah. I will just write my stories, um, writing about the, the, actually the differences, the culture. Because it was, some of the oh, things were culture shock to me. Yes. I'm used to being punished and here you, you get detention. Oh, yes. And I was like, how, do, <laughs> how does it work? you being sent to stay in the class. How is it going to help? Yeah. Me, I know that I'm going to get a club or a belt. Just us. And therefore, he's a child in Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ha. So I would write about those things because really, it, it was a shock to me that these people are very disciplined. Just go to your class or after school, you're going to stay and get your detention and that's it. <laughs> and I realized they hated it. Yeah. But with us, black people are like, this, 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 It's this, better than being I'll hit. I'll stay in the class. I don't <laughs> care. I'm going to stay in the class. I don't <laughs> care. And I do my homework. Yeah. And get home. And then I go to practice. Yeah. To church practice. And you don't feel like you were punished. <laughs> no. It was not a punish. It was like... The only thing that was bad is that I get home late. Oh. Then I get to be shouted at. Because now they know that I did something wrong. Mm. But that for me was like, hi, boo. This is a small thing. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> I mean, if you want, but I was not a naughty child. Okay. So um, I I started writing about those differences that oh we're very different. Oh wow. Mm. But I couldn't submit because I was scared because mm. I was telling my truth there. Mm. So yeah, that was broadcasting, and then I started when I get home. We used to have tapes, you remember? Oh, my tapes, yeah. Yes, that you, like this you one. use a pen. Yes, <coughs> yes like that. <laughs> and I'll start recording myself reading news. What? Home, I tell you. No. You know. What you inspired know that? Yeah. I. These are the things. When you, you, when the Bible says, faith without works. Okay. Faith without works. It's, it's nothing. nothing. Yeah. You have to believe. Yeah. You have to say it. And you start doing, doing. Yeah. So I started the recording wow. myself in the bedroom when um everybody's asleep. Oh, okay, then I was staying with my grandfather and grand- yeah. grandparents. So I started recording myself. In that small recording news. tape thing. Yes. Yeah. Tape and I will hide it because ah. I don't want them to see it. 
I don't know. I was so protective yeah. of my creativity. Were you fearing to be judged or were you fearing that they'll say you're not good enough? Judged. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So sure. that, I think that was my fear. But I started doing that and I would read magazine. There was Abu Bona. Yes. I would read and read and yeah. like, oh, this is how they write. I wish I could write like that. Yeah. And then I started writing my stories, created my my diary. It was a diary then. I would write and write and listen whenever I see a news reader or listen to a news reader on radio. I want to sound like that. Yeah. You know. Are there any specific news readers that 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 inspired you at the time? I think I forgot them now. Okay. Like they were like, um, yeah, because I was young. I really think. From that, course, oh, yeah. there was this one. He was not a news re- news reader. Kansas City. Okay. Yeah, he was a um, radio personality. Oh. Ah, he was a bomb. That one. Yeah. Oh, cousin. Oh, okay. He was really a bomb. Yeah. And yeah. I, I liked him. The way by you know, the way he presented, you know, he presented himself. Yeah. I you know, those are the things about <laughs> dos and yes. stuff. And I was like, these are my people. Yeah, yeah. But it's like I say, it was very awkward because I would never say that was at it, home. So was it more radio people than T V people that inspired you? Both. Okay. And maybe that's why I'm on TV. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, yeah, that was me. The tape. <laughs> it really, it really <laughs> and the pain in you. You know when you do this. Wait. Means, ah, <laughs> man, that was life. And so, then it breaks. <laughs> My daughter. And then you it's like, like you know, we, you pull it one side, you find the tape, you, yeah, he laughs. Yeah, he tape. <laughs> this is life. This is our life. This is my life. Yeah. This is where I started. Yo. This, it's all Something so started. simple. And I, I find it that, you know, God, mm. when they say he knows us mm. before mm. we were born, and that I'm doing things that I really wanted to do. So you visualized the things that you're doing. Yes. You visualized the I life you are living. I saw myself doing those things. You won't believe I didn't even study journalism. Ah, no. Because no. that was going to be my next question. No. <laughs> uh, funny enough, I applied for a bursary after high school. I didn't have money. Yeah. So I applied. Um, I got a bursary after a year to study journalism. But when I got there, they said um, there's no space at school. Um, Where was so, this? In Benham. Okay, yeah. in Kezere. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, in Joburg now. Okay, so you came up to Joburg. Not for, not, not for even that. Okay. I came to do inter, in no, no auditions while I was at school. No. Yeah. <laughs> my story is like, no! Oh, oh, my story. I was, um, I was doing great. <coughs> it was standard eight, Sorry, which yeah. is grade 10 right now. Okay. And my brothers were already in Joburg. Yeah. So... My parents were divorced and life fell apart, oh. you know, for all of us. So my brothers, who were my brother firstborn, was mm. a creative of notes. And I will tell you right now, he used to be famous on SAPC as a weatherman. Oh, yeah. I'm looking he at came, his name now. Yeah. He came to Joe. Yo, that's your brother. Ah, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> so he came with my other brother trying to find life after my uh, my parents were divorced. And he actually took um, the the role of being a father to us. Okay. You know, so he came to Joburg. And I used to think that everything is fine in Joburg. When he comes home, he looks good. Like, you yeah. know, wearing a mazaza. Yeah. You know, smelling <laughs> nice. And I was like, ah, oh, Joburg is good. Yeah. So I'm the first uh, daughter. I'm number three, but the first daughter. In Kosaza Nikai. Okay, Ninga Gekai. Ninga is six, but six four months. Okay. So I will nag him that can I come to Joburg? Can I come to Joburg? Yeah. And eventually, because I was sad now, you know, we're no longer together as a family. I was very sad and I was shy. I think he saw that in me that, mm-mm. oh, I even failed that year because, I, yeah, it was bad. Yeah. So, um, I did my standard grade 11 here in Joburg. Oh, really? Yes. That's so, standard nine at yes, the time. Yes, standard nine. Yeah. So I did it here in Joburg and I 
went to auditions. And you and stayed with him? Stayed with him. Yeah. It was not easy because he was now uh, growing up to be a man. Now he's got girlfriends and stuff and I'm not used <laughs> to these things. And, um, and job work life is fast. Yo, and I realized that you pay for everything. Rent and uh, things we did, uh, things I didn't know yeah. about. Now I find in Joburg, people are always busy doing this and that. And my brother now is having girlfriends and it's not really easy for me because I thought I was going to be the person in his life yeah. as a girl. Yeah. But yeah, I went on. I went to auditions. Shorots of fame. I was there. Ah. Coca-Cola pop stars. I you was. did it. I like Lion King <laughs> as young as I was. Because he allowed me to go to those things. Yeah. Lion King, I think I made it um, to top 50 then. Yeah. And I remember very well, vividly Label M. Yes. When I got in, I sang, I sang Maria Carey. There's a hero. Oh, you also did that song? Yes. Wow. And he said to me, I love your voice, though it has Vi Vi because of Coral. It has oh. Vi Vi. Yeah. And I believe in my heart of hearts that you're going to make it one day. Don't mind what other, other judges are saying. Okay. I just believe there's something in you. I yeah. don't know why. Yeah. Wow. So that stayed with you. Yes. That this is where I'm supposed to be. This accounting thing that I'm trying to push, it's it's not you. It's not me. Yeah, see. So um I finished school and um like I said, I tried to study, it did not happen. And I got my my bursary. I did marketing. I did marketing. Oh, yeah? Yes, for two years. Graduated. I'm good. So, and um, my first job, I was an events organizer, which was good. Um, then I'm like, okay, who is this woman? Hmm. I'm like... Still trying to find yeah, yourself. who is this woman? But this thing stays that I want to be a singer. Yeah. You know, like I said, and then I went to those things... Um, they shall run to fame, you know, on stage there. And I'm like, whew. I, I, you know what? I didn't get it right. Mm. But it stayed with me that I'm going to sing. Either way. And you didn't give up. I did not give up. And it's easy to give up. It, it is. I don't know. Is it, let me say, I don't, I don't know for another Because what I've learned um, in life is that if you are going to be a successful person, mm. even if you fail, you're going to keep going. Yeah. There's something that's going to push you mm. towards your direction. Mm. So I don't know whether it was easy or it was, it, it, for me, it was more of the love. Because of so, what I'm doing. if you think about how many people uh, were in those auditions with you, mm -hmm. who, of course, the judges sometimes can be harsh, yes. can say nasty things. And it can break your spirit and it can mm -hmm. just break mm -hmm. your enthusiasm. But if you, if you look at how Randall and Usomizi and yes. how sometimes they can use these harsh words. I the think they're good because there are people who take this creative creativity thing for mm. granted. Mm. But then there's us who are like who are born like that. Yeah. And even if you are turned down, you you will listen to the judges. Yeah. If me born, I would say there's something. Bazosh. Bazosh. But if we are lala, or sometimes if me born, I don't born when. They will be harsh on you until you see. Because man, there is something in Bella like me. Yeah, born. So we kind of need those kind of vibes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes you need that constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, okay, so how did you break into. Um, into into Both news, industries. yeah. Well, well, I know your music. You broke into it to twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. What came first? Broadcasting. Okay, so yes. how how did you break into that? I was working, like I said, um, as an events organizer. So I just wrote. Um, CNBC Africa was coming to South Africa. They were launching the TV station here in Sydney, oh, and yes. you know, I wrote a letter. Yeah. I told you I'm a writer. Yeah, I wrote. I wrote. Then I got a call. They said to me, can we see the person behind the script? So you're writing letters with no, scripts? No, just one. No, I wanted a job. 
Oh, okay. And I told them about me. I told them that I, I don't have journalism, but you're going to write on me. Yeah. And then they, you know, it was a story about myself. Yeah. Then they called me. Wow, just and like then, that. I, she said this to me, I want to oh. see a person behind the script. Wow. I went to the interview, got the job, and yeah, I started working there as a production secretary. secretary. Yeah. I was in the gallery. Okay. You know, as this, okay, what they call it is an assistant director. Yeah. You know, you run the news with this assistant director, everything. There I go to learn everything. Not not everything. I go to learn about broadcasting. Yeah. That was my foundation. Wow. Weekends. Then I would go to SABC and just volunteer there. Oh, through your brother? No, no, no. Oh, no, so no, you no. went on your own? Yes, on my own. Ah. I'm like... Yeah. I would go there. I had a friend who was working there. I'll go on Saturday and, and Sunday. Yeah. Sit there, learn, learn how to write, learn everything about the industry. It was me. I was like, I'm, I'm loving this. Yeah. You know, because yeah. you were hungry. Yes. SAPC was more, it's more of um, a numbers, economy and stuff. And I was not really good. Mm. And I knew that I'm, I'm an entertainment person. So I went to SAPC when I wasn't working. After two months, there was an opening. Not for me. Phew. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to get too in trouble. Take no, no, no. With my boss is dead. Oh. Because <laughs> we forged a story. Oh. My <laughs> <laughs> no. You like that. So there was an opening. Yeah. We went to the boss there and we lied. And we, we said, I'm working <laughs> at SABC Sports. I've just got hired a month ago. I'm still waiting for a contract. Okay. So, and he says, this guy, he says, oh, okay. Then you have experience from CNBC and here. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have no contract ah. with SABC Sports. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. So what can you do for me? I was like, what you wrote today on the job spec? Because I already know now. Yeah. And he just called his PA. He said, create a contract for this lady. Oh. They got in. I got in. Oh. I never looked back. Like, what? Yeah. And That's you left it. CNBC? I left CNBC. So the, it that must have been... That was 2008. Yo. I left CNBC, went to SABC. They, I learned all the tools. Yes. Of writing, of voicing, the, you know, everything. Writing to TV. Yeah. Yeah. It lasted for two years because 2020... And then SAPC closed SAPC Africa. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I, I got a job there as a, a production assistant. Now, the bottom one, but I was like, I'm going to do this. Yeah. I want to learn. Yeah. I'm here to learn. This is my industry. And SABC is big. It is big. Yeah. And that's the nicest thing. You yeah. learn here and there. And yeah, 2010, unfortunately, um, yeah, there was no job. Yeah. I started doing peace jobs freelancing but, and so on no no just different things oh, like yeah. receptionist now and i could see that i don't belong here yeah. i'm happy for that period because really i was like no 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 this is not you no it's not me i'm yeah. good yes i hear them saying oh voice projection oh the lady at the front right my gosh it's guys, not me guys I'm gonna leave anyway. <laughs> yeah so 2013 sbc called me do you want to come back i'm like what kind of a question is this yeah. I'm definitely not, I'm not done with you. <laughs> so I went back and yeah, opportunities came opportunities came. I became a um, bulletin writer and also I had to run shows in the studio. Yeah. I learned the again when there were workshops, trainings, you know, I will go there mm. and just make sure that I'm sharpening my skills now. Mm. Yes. And that's wow. how I got into broadcasting. Yo, what a story. And you know, like everyone who gets into broadcasting, they'll tell you, hey, you know how many times I tried to knock on that mm. door? The door would not open. I opened the window. They said, no, they shut the window. I tried another door. Yeah. You know, sp until you get in, especially with SABC. It's well, like, no, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. Yeah. But I, 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 what I would say, Sipo, you must work. Someone is watching. Hmm. When you get to any industry, work. Mm, mm, work. Mm. Forget about any other thing that's happening around you. 
just know with I'm here to work and work. Mm. Mm. And mm. you know, in Shuguti, 2010, so 2013, I got a call because you know what? I was working. Mm. And um, you left got, a good impression. Exactly. No man abuinzan work. True. Yeah, one. Leave the politics of you know, because there's so many, especially yeah. in broadcasting, and you like yo and who who minang in Goban. That big people, that payana, serious people. Serious politics. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know Peter Ndoro. Yeah. yeah. Compare me, I know Peter Ndoro. Yo. But they call me back. You know, and you like yeah. Mm. And how are you going to get it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it, no, mm. it, it? Good cloud. Just this is what I'm doing. Mm. Mm. And it's all in Zek. Sure. Um, I know that we're going to talk about your music now, but um, I want to take you for a spin on this uh, vintage car. Mm. Shy Round in J. And then there's a song of yours that I want to talk about. Um, is uh, <clears throat> The, the one called Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, so you broke into music in 2019. 2019. What happened then was like, I'm done with uh, broadcasting for now. Okay. 20, no, no, that was no, not 2019. It was 2017. I was just like, okay, this is it. My music is calling me. Yeah. I said in 2017, I'm going to leave in 2019. I'm going to leave SABC in 2019. Unfortunately, my contract was not re- renewed in 2018. Okay. I dive straight into music. Just as. Like, Just like that. I took all my savings. I was like, I. Oh. oh. And my mom is staying with me. It's like, this woman is. This child is crazy. I took all my savings. Remember, I don't. I know nothing about music. Yo. I know it today from a distance. Yeah. You know, my brother was in the music industry, but I was still, you know, growing as a girl. Yeah. And I didn't, re- I don't, I didn't know the nitty gritties of the music yeah. industry. The business of music. You know. Yeah. So I took all my savings. I, you know, I don't know where I found that sibint. That's that lever. <laughs> that <laughs> lever. You know, I took all my savings. That Yo. I. Put it on the projects of room music. Huh. Obviously, Bang Roba, which yeah. is, I was ready for that because I was already um, told to go to e business, then it's not going to be easy. But because now I'm older, I'm sort mm. of wiser, you know, and know what I know. And I have e experience, especially because M7 Zin, you have I'm an artist, and you're like, oh, this is how it goes PR, and you know, marketing, and you, you yeah, mm. that I had. Mm. Mm. I took mm. all my savings. <gasps> Put it there. It's brave. I record, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's my first album came out in 2019. Okay. And pushing it, push it, because like I said, at least in the idea was funny. Yeah. Pushing it, push her. Then there was Corona. And I think I won't realize who's I know. But yeah. how do you have the magic? Yeah. Yeah. But we are in. yeah. It was like looking very good. Yeah. For yeah. someone who was doing everything for by herself. I would get, uh, my music was played on Kai FM because I would go knock and like, you don't even know who to ask for. But I'm like, I'm going to be here. I'm going to ask today. So you went to Kaya and you yes. just kept on. And another week, I'll just make sure that I'm going to make this trip until I get the person that I'm supposed to submit to. My music. What? Eventually, uh, yeah, I was told you this is the person, <laughs> you know, and stuff. So you and went I through said, reception, what? Yeah, man, I need to I know. I would come and just smile and say, Who is the person? Can I please have. You know, it was difficult, really. It, yes. it was strenuous, but because now, if your mind is not there, you're going to give up. Mm. But I told myself, Now I don't have a job. I have to make this work. Mm. And uh, I'm trying to make it work. And then there's Corona. Oh, by the way, before I even get there, I get a PR who took my money. Like I took my savings. He took 15 grand and he left. And I was like, okay, they told me 15 grand is a lot of money. Should have paid for my bond. But I kept going. I kept going. And I was like, okay, this music, even now I still say, this music thing has to work for me. Mm. 
Mm. Because 2020, I lost my house. Ha! Huh. Mm-hmm. Remember, I said to me, I took all my savings yes. for the music, and I recorded a live album, which cost it was cost it took it cost me seventy grand. What? I tell you, because I have no information that you yes. mustn't. But I kept paying, you know, kept, yeah. you know. But you know, this, you know, you and key. I'm like, because I want this thing ha- to happen, and I'm glad. I'm very happy that I have an album. Yeah. Um, but then I lost my house. Mm. Ah, now mm. there's corona. There's no work. Losing the house. No gigs. Nothing. 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 I don't. You know, Sip, I don't even know how I'm still breathing. Ah. Like, if, I'm not gonna say it fell apart. It was like there's no life. Just. I still have a baby to go to school. Sus. It was a mess from 2020. Until last year. You got I, a broke I, through. Like, yo, I don't, I, yo. And this daughter of mine that I'm calling baby, she was the one, she, she, she kept me going. She's like, mama, it's going to be fine. I can see it's going to be fine. The way you doing things is going to be fine. Sure. She was just that voice. That kept motivating. You no. Know? Yeah. And I was, I would ask myself, how does she know? You know? We will smile. I lost my place, lost furniture, everything, because I don't know where to take it, mm. um, who to ask. I, actually, I, do, I did have people, but when you are in that state of mm. losing, mm. you don't think straight. Mm. You can't. It it's, it's just becomes impossible. I don't know. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, um, and my mom uh, sure. rented a place for me in Naturena, a room. And now she's earning... Grant, she's taking all that money <gasps> to make sure that I have a place to stay. What? And remember, she was staying with me, yeah, having a good time with her life with her money. Yeah, now she has to give it to me and go stay with my younger sister. My goodness, it was. I, I don't know how to explain it, <sighs> but I will wake up and smile like it's gonna happen. You just One kept day, believing. I kept believing that. Kept having faith. Especially for this child. I have to keep going. Because now she believes in you. Yes. Now I'm saying in Naturena, she goes to Parkview. I don't know how many times. Nipelelwe petrol. Freeway. Ha! Like I tell you. I'm huh. going to get emotional now. But... <sighs> My goodness. Petrol, and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Maybe you're not going to school. As you can see, I send I petrol. I will cry. Crying. They must say, who can I call? Yes. Even if they send me the money, the e-wallet. Mele, you must get to the garage, something. Ha, ha. So, yeah, it went on, like, from 2020 to 2022. That that was my life. Yeah. Now I take risk even now. Like, I'm going to put my hand on my I'm going to put my hand on because I will call someone. Sure. And, you know, people came through for me. Yeah. People came, My mom said, as long as we have... Um, shelter over your head. I don't know how you're gonna get food because now I have no money. People yeah. came through for me in a big way. Yeah. Um, I even remember in 2020, I managed to shoot a video via asking people for money. I'm like, guys, I want to shoot a music video. And I decided I'm gonna ask. I managed to raise like 10,000. Yeah. I shot a video. I think that kept me going still. Yeah. I was like, hey, there's hope, you know. There are people who believe that I can do this. Yeah. So I raised like 10,000. Remember, okay, I don't understand this because I don't have food, but I want to have (laughs) shots. I don't have petrol. And someone, um, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it worked. Yeah. But I got 10,000 and someone booked a flight for me to go shooting them. Ah. To and from. 
What? <laughs> Charles. And I would come back, there's no food. And I'm like, yo, you know, I should have used that 10th of the grand for food for my daughter and pay school fees. Yeah. Now I've got the video, which but is Manje, not going to be played because I don't have money to push it. Yeah. It must be flighted after you exactly. shoot it. Yes. And these were all just lessons and yes. and for you to sharpen your skills and to, you know. As a businesswoman. You know, like I always say, Ugeti, in order for you to see gold the way it is, you must understand the pressure that it went through. E diamond, mawifagalana or wifagemunwen. You must understand yes. the kind of pressure and heat that it must have gone through. Why did I go through that? And sometimes we don't realize, Ugeti, you're going through the heat for a reason. For you to come out on the other side to look amazing, to sound amazing, for people to now be saying, wow, Kanti, mm-hmm. they don't know, Guti. This is the journey, yo, the yo, hardships. Yo. And then I can I test you to see, Guti, whether you, you really want this thing or not. Yes. Yes. I was really tested. And then, last year, I was like, let me call one of the bosses at SABC and see what will happen. Mm. And then I call this one, and it's like, oh, okay, we'll see. I had to wait and until I met him in this year, in February. And it's like, well, I'm looking for someone at night. People don't want to work a shift at night. Mm. Are you going to be able to do that? I know you have a child, and I know you're pushing this music, and I see you. Mm. Are you going to be able and I was like, yes. I mean, I was like, I'm going to say yes. What's going to happen after that, I don't know. Mm. But right now, it's a yes. I didn't say to him what I just said. Like, yeah. What's going to happen? I was like, yes, I'm going to do I'll do it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that's how you got the, your breakthrough. I, yes, I went back. You know now, the breakthroughs are coming in. Mm. Went back to SAPC. Okay, while we are in um, that period of uh, what? We were making... Wearing mask. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wearing, um, lockdown. Way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> My level, what, what. <laughs> yes. I will make sure that I go to um, music conferences, um, workshops, wake up for whatever Zoom meetings, just for me to sharpen my skills mm. as a an mm. artist. Mm. So um, I went back to SAPC. And I while I was doing that, I met someone called Mirena. Yes. On these workshops and stuff. And voila, voila. Yeah. There's this guy. Shout Morena. out to Morena. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, we, in this workshop, a two day workshop, I think. Um, he's sitting there and we're doing our things. And he's, he, I think for me, I thought this guy is a big talker. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. But then what I like, um, the facilitator said to us, the, it was the last day. You're going to have to speak to each and every person who is here. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you don't leave this room without that. And that's how I got, I introduced myself to Mm. him. And we were like, okay, fine. And he was like, you know, I'm venturing to music and one of them, like, I'm already there, but I'm not, you know, as much. Mm. I'm just there. Mm. And I've had my fair share as a up and coming artist. But hey, I'm still, because this is what I want to do. And then you have trust issues because you've also experienced so many big talkers or yeah, people who yeah, took you for a ride. Yeah, I paid. Yes. Remember I said a PR and then I paid someone also a 15 grand for mixing and mastering. When I sent it, submitted at Kai FM, they said no, they declined it. It was mm. not done well. I had to pay another 15000 to find someone who's going to do it right. Shut us! <laughs> no. Yeah, no, it was a film. <laughs> but I was like, I'm going to be a star. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to do this thing. Yeah. I'm going to work on it. Yes. I, when I had my song played on Car FM, it didn't matter what happened. You were like. I had my music was like on Car FM. Can you? And it's Doing hard to myself. get it there. It's hard to get it it's there. It's hard. Yes. Um, I. I, I got in via another person, mm. but I wasn't going to get this person if I did not go and knock and knock and, mm. you know, just accepting the period of being a fool, mm. accepting a period of being turned down. But because now I, I, I really believe this thing, they will turn you down, but it makes you get closer. Mm. 
It's true. You to know? your end goal. Yes. Mm. So um, then I met this person also, Peggy Ngoko. Then things started to take a shape. Yeah. Um, and then I got, to, uh, I had to redo my music and he helped me. Same songs? Same songs. Okay. Another 15 friend. Yeah, so... I mean, I don't know. <laughs> like my life. I can't... take a 15 grand later, <laughs> but why did they come with this figure? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, these people. Yeah. Yeah. And I Yo. have to head, you know, yeah. the figure. And you managed to do it. Yes. Wow. And then there was a video. And then things really, I, I, now that I'm actually thinking about it, it was a lot. Yeah. It yeah. was really a lot. Yeah. Yes, while it was happening, it was a lot, but I didn't feel that mm. pain because I had this edge and push that kept going, keep mm. going. Now that I'm talking to you, I realize that I have gone through a lot. There like was a too much. There was a burning desire for you to succeed. That's yes. why you didn't give up or you didn't feel like you are throwing money away. Mm. But the desire was strong enough. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that because now I'm back at work. Yeah. Yes, I'm a freelancer, but hey, at least now I have food on my table. Mm. At least my child is okay. Mm. And then there was um, Rena. He paid for the project, for the recording of the yeah. single. But we went 50-50. I said, I don't have money uh, right now. You can help me mm. and I will pay you after. Mm. Mm. And then he did that. Yeah. I got a single ass. I'm Come on! My interviews. I was on morning live. I'm like, hey. Yeah. You know. I saw your morning live uh, interview, and I was like, okay, Morena can is into this now. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. He really helped me, and it was difficult because he will play the sound. Shame. I felt sorry. I was like, I'm not happy. I don't want this. Yeah. And we go back. Hey, are you happy with this? Like we are, but I something you know it, it was yeah no it was shame I think it was too much for him mm. but also because he's hungry for this thing mm. you know mm. until it was okay mm. we're like this is it I'm happy with this whole sound mm. let's take it forward mm. and we have a single sure is this yeah. what you're gonna play for us yes all right uh, I think I want to hear it man I'm sure the people want to hear this single uh, because. You know, it's so amazing to hear your journey because it it's it says what you've put your heart and soul into your music. I like love this thing. Blood, sweat and tears, you yes. know. Um I was chatting to another guy, he was telling me about his business. What what he you know, you look at it today, you don't understand how many nights I cried. <laughs> you, 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 you 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 get broken and then you wonder, is there? anything i can offer is there anything i can give but then somehow because this is this is you yeah. this is your baby this is your everything there was just a light there and there's someone there yes. waiting to say let me hold your hand can you believe you don't even know how it happens mm. and m with me there, w there was nothing could have actually pulled me back when mm. everything could have put me back, but nothing. Mm. You know, I could have said, no, I'm done. You know what? My money, I'm done. My house is gone. Through this music, I am mm. done. But it was like, mm. I find peace in everything that happened because it has made me Upahadi that I am. <laughs> Upahadi Sitole. The woman that I'm proud of. The singer that I'm proud of. The songwriter that I'm proud of. Yeah. And it's one thing that I'm not going to leave. You were telling me about the name. Uh, you said it's a Swahili name. Yes. It and is. what does it mean again? It means luck. You know what happens? Um, yeah. We have Ntantla's Nguiza, so I was not going to call myself Ntantla's Tole. Okay. I didn't yeah. want to confuse the audience. For sure. Yeah. So I was like, let me check Ntantla in other languages. They mm. came, brruh, 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 but I was like, this Bahad. I kind of yeah. like this Bahad. So, yeah. like in French and whatever, but I was like, it stands out. It sticks yes. out. And it's yes. not a common name. Yeah. And when you hear it, you're like, you you actually, I had to say it a few times uh -huh. in order for it to stick in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know? Uh, and, and I think, yeah, it's it's really a nice name. So it means uh -huh. luck. Yeah. Because I wanted to keep my name yeah. as Nontlandla, that luck. Yeah. So, and 
yeah Bahad. and funny enough at work they don't call me by my name now yeah they go like Bahad and my guys but i'm at work here yeah you know my name but they just refuse they said this but name no, is nice it's a brand now it's mm-hmm. a brand so we we refer you by your brand <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. So how would you define your brand? I'm a queen. Okay. I am, you know what? Yeah. I'm a queen in oh. my palace. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, and I'm an African woman. And this is one thing that I like about us. I love, we ooze this confidence yeah. without saying it. No, it's true. Without even working hard for it. Yeah. We, was it yeah you know with my short hair i still look beautiful and i love that it comes natural you know even though we grew up being told relax your hair yeah but now we're finding ourselves and True. we look beautiful no for not sure. to say i'm bashing other things no, no. i'm just talking about yeah. the african woman yeah that's why I, I yeah that's my brand there's just something loving myself there's something you you put there um uh, on your profile, it says, um, uh, so it's it's really about appreciating and taking pride in yourself. Yes. And, and, and many people just do not feel that they appreciate who they are and their appearance as God had created them. So you, you, you really big on appreciating who you really are. Yes. As me, as an African person, yeah. As a continent, especially the song, because now, um, what I've, um, I said and look that I, I love black Americans. Mm. They go hard mm. on whatever they do. True. They believe. And I'm thinking we have everything. Why can't mm. we, mm. we have the minerals and resources. Mm. Why are we looking at on the other end for whatever, mm. When we have everything, I think then, I, I, maybe I stand to be corrected, that uh, we, were sort, we were sort of taught that the other people or the other nations are better than us. Mm. Uh, we come second them. Mm. Now, we should actually, um, it shouldn't be something a difficult, but no, we're good. Mm. We're good the way we are. We're mm. good. Very we true. good ukuluma is one you good you good no ukuluma english it's mm. good that you can even do that mm. ukuluma english ukuluma is one ukuluma is ben ukuluma is zone true let's just yeah. appreciate who we are because la baba ndo banga le mad and it's not wrong when mm. they come nezin do sab bona jama chinese mabe figil ba figil why can't we not mas figa ngale sibe figil yeah yeah joba ngoke song ifike ngibe right ngibe sex ngibe so yeah this is why i am no for sure as much ngoba nawe ungnika lokho kwakho ngithenge futhi yeah ngithathe the way naza ke siyifundise nje ukuthi we good the way we are it's whether you true. have your relaxed hair if you want to relax your hair you're still good whether you have this short hair no ma ithungu no ma injanjan ma uthi ayikam but that's who you are. Yeah. Carry it with that thing. Yeah. This is who I am. Wear your crown. Yeah, bo. You've got it now. Wear it. Wear it. It's so true. Hmm. You see, hmm. abo oh, um, Miss South Africa. Uh, Zonzibini. Look. Yeah, Tonzi, yeah. True. Mostly, the, like, you can't fault her unless you have your problems. Yeah. But you can't fault her. She's the beauty. No, it's true. Uh, I was actually talking to another guy who was my guest, a a white uh, elderly gentleman. He he was telling me, he was like, you know, Sipo, when that lady became Miss World, even all the white guys started realizing that, wait, hold on. (laughs) Ganti, you can have short hair, black woman. Like, he was like, the the appreciation. the beauty. The beauty is like... like, who's that sexiness? And you, yeah. The way she walked that woman, you're like, wow. <laughs> you know, it yeah. is okay. Yeah. Yeah. It is okay to be like this. Yeah. It's yeah. who you are. It's okay to be black and yes. be proud of who you are. Mm. It's true. Very true. Mm. Uh, Siswam, let's hear the song. Uh, because me, I listen to it over and over again. Uh, let me hold Which this I for you. Sing in Swahili. You sing in Swahili. Let me hold. Shona, let me hold this for you Zulu, while you open. Oh, in English. You do it. Yeah, in this this song, we have all that. There's Shona. There's yeah. There's Shona. There's Swahili. There's Zulu. There's English and a piece of Tswana.
Or in the same song? In the same song. Oh, okay, okay, yes. okay, okay. Right. I was wondering because as I listened to it, mm-hmm. um, okay, I only understood the English part and the Zulu part. I did not understand all the other parts that, mm-hmm. you know, like I don't know the difference between Shona and and uh, Swahili. You see, when you're an artist, I sat down with, I have a friend who's from Kenya. Yeah. She helped me with Swahili. Okay, I googled, but then I wanted to say it and sound the, the way, way it's supposed. So yes. I, I, you know, I spoke to her, is this right? And then she was like, okay, this is how you say this. Also have friends from who speaks Shona. Okay. This is my song. I was like, because this is about Africa. Mm. I mm. have to do it right. Mm. You know? Mm. And yeah. That's amazing, man. Africa. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's play this song. Let's hear that song. All right, we're going to take a drive while we're doing this. And Usis is going to give us the performance. Let's yeah. do this thing. Welcome to the Free Ride Podcast. Africa will come on. Yeah. This is, this is Africa. Yeah. Actually, yeah, 
wanting to ask for a photo out there. Okay. Afri, come on. Let's do I it, man. I want to bring this thing. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Hold your own. You got him, my brother. You got it. You got him, my sister. You got it. Come on, hold your own. What's that feeling? No, to them, no, call on. Yeah, Africa, my Africa. What's that feeling? No, to them, no, call on. Yeah, Africa, my Africa. Should we take it outside? Yes. Let's take it outside. Let's take it outside. Oh, oh my good. goodness. Oh, I love it. I love the song. Yeah. Sounding beautiful. Don't be shy. No, no. This is what, what I'm talking mean? about. It means like, don't be shy. Okay. This is what you have. Own it. It's yours. Nobody yeah. is going to take it from you. Yeah. You know, yeah. just shy. Yeah. Sure. Amazing. Like man. You must know, um, I've got a tattoo of an African continent mm -hmm. here on my on my arm. It's got a, a face of an African woman inside. Mm -hmm. So it, it it demonstrates to me how much I love this continent mm -hmm. and the beauty of African women. Yes. And we underestimate our power. That's the thing. And we, we have, underestimate like said, we our power. We, we definitely hey. underestimate our power and we underestimate what God has given us. Yes. You know. I think that's the problem. We underestimate ourselves. Yeah. All right, man. So we're going to take a break. We're going to go outside. Usis is going to take a few pictures outside here and then we're going to come back and wrap it up. Let's do this. Yeah. Boom. Thank you. Man. Ah. Like I'm loving myself, I'm loving myself <laughs> even more. I think we're gonna uh, We'll do some pictures outside Okay And then uh, what I was thinking is Is your phone good with photos? Yeah Can I please use yours? Okay We'll do that 